Hi there, Tenzi here. Today we'll make the matching bottom for our top. I will start chaining with my uh, four millimeter hook and then I will switch to a three millimeter since I want the beginning uh, chain not to, to be bunching up. And then I want a tighter uh, gauge with my three millimeters. We start with a slip knot and we chain 10. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, ten. So now here I will be switching to my three millimeter hook. All right, so we chain ten and I will chain five and then I put my, my nail into that last tenth stitch so I can count much faster. So three, four, five. Into so I'm skipping those five, then I'm skipping two more. So I skip seven stitches from here and into the eighth stitch I do a single crochet. And then I chain five more. And then I skip four more stitches. One, two, three, four. And into that fifth one, I do one more single crochet. So chain two and a double crochet into that last stitch. So this is the first row of the repeat. And then turn, chain one, and then into that, la into that stitch, we do one single crochet. And now we're gonna start with our fans which will be into those single crochets we put from on the previous row. So now yarn over and we do the first post, yarn over the second post, yarn over third double crochet, yarn over the fourth double crochet, yarn over crochet, double crochet number five. So we have five into that middle of the chain from the previous row we'll do one single crochet and you just put it randomly you just put it right there in the middle and now into that next single crochet from the previous round we'll do five double crochets So now into that last chain we'll do one single crochet, we'll turn and then we'll chain five, and then we'll do again like the first row, we're gonna just be doing single crochets, but first we're gonna find that middle stitch from the from the fan from the previous round. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is my third stitch. Into that stitch, we'll do a single crochet. We chain five, four, five. And we're gonna find again the middle stitch from the fan from the previous round. And into that third stitch, we'll do a single crochet. And then we'll chain two and into that last single crochet we did we will do a double crochet in there and now we turn chain one chain do a single crochet into that first stitch and now into those single crochets we have here in the middles we will do five double crochets again. Single crochet into that middle chain and then five more double crochets into that 
single crochet from the previous round. Single crochet into that last chain and then chain five, three, four, five, and into that middle stitch of the fan, you do a single crochet, chain five, five into the middle stitch of the fan, you do a single crochet, and then chain two into that last single crochet there we do a double crochet we turn single crochet here uh, I'm sorry a chain and then a single crochet and then we do again with the fans and this is how we'll go and repeat that for the length you would like your belt to have. And when you are done, we will add the, the, the skirt part to it. Or if you just want to leave it as a belt, that's okay too. So uh, my mannequin's uh, bottom part is 35 inches, but I will make it uh, about 34 inches so I have a little bit of a negative ease so I can um, tighten it around that uh, hip area. I'm not going to put it on the waist exactly. I'll put it a little bit lower than the waist so it will be sitting in on the hips of my mannequin. All right, and I'll meet you when I'm done. Once you reach till the end of your length of your belt, you have to end up with the row that's only chains, so they both sides can match. So here I am, I am done with my shells, and then I'll chain five. And then I'll go again in my middle fan and do a single crochet, chain five. Then I'll again single crochet in the middle shell. And then chain two. And double crochet in that single crochet we did from the previous round. And this will be the end of this belt all right so i'll chain one more over here to make the space more secure and i'm done with this color so i got my next color and i will do a border on, on the top uh, side of my belt and on the bottom side I will put my skirt type or the longer part of the uh, cover up and I picked the sides like that because if you can see one side of the belt is third year since we went into those stitches that had a single crochet and the other side because I just went with a, with a single crochet into that chain not inside the stitch of the chain this made it more movable but I did that on purpose because when my skirt stretches stretches here on the wider part of the hip you want that movement there you want the stitches to be able to adjust to the movement of your body so that's the reason I picked to go like that with that design. So you can even see that side stretches a bit more than the top side. So the top side of this will have the shells as a finishing touch and on the bottom will continue with the skirt. However, I will start from the side so I can make 
that side also like a little border. And this time I will switch to my large, larger crochet hook and four is also recommended for this yarn. Uh, it's a weight three, it's a lightweight yarn. So I can go with uh, four and that four crochet hook will give me a looser fabric, which I actually want this time. I want it to have more movement and more drape. All right, so let's jump into it. I got my yarn here and there it is, the end of it. I will start with a slip knot, of course since we're adding that extra color. And I will start from the, the bottom, the side here. Since when I go all around, I'll end up on this side while well, I'll continue with my skirt. So I wanna start on the shorter side here. And because we started with 10 stitches and on the row here, I will do nine single crochets here so I can have, um, so I can save the same um, width. So chain one here and into that same space we'll do three single crochets. So this is one, two, and I do tighten my stitches a bit, even though I did pick a larger hook. So into that next chain space, we'll do three single crochets as well. And hide your tail. Into the next chain space, we do three single crochets again. So here is our side. When we come back on the other side, we'll have our skirt starting. So we'll just connect those sides and this will, will stay put. All right, so here we'll start with our shells. So chain two and into that, that stitch here, that double crochet we have on the side, we'll do two double crochets. And then we'll be hiding this tail on this side. All right, so skip that middle part and into the next space, we do a single crochet here. We chain two again. We do two double crochets. And then we go into the next space of the double crochets. We do a single crochet there, we chain two, we do two double crochets. And then we do a single crochet to the next space again. And here how our shells are forming. And they, they also give us a little definition to the belt. Chain two, two double crochets. Go into the next space, single crochet and then chain two. And then you keep going till you reach, till the end of, of the belt, right over here. And then we'll do again single crochets on the side and then we're gonna start our skirt. And let me cut my ends here. And this, where did the little piece go? There it is. And all they go in my jar of scraps.
All right, so I made it till the end and then I'll do my single crochet here on the corner and then I'll do one chain so I can move to the top side of my corner and I'll do one more single crochet here and now I can do two more single crochets for a total of four single crochets in that empty space. So the three of them I want to put them on the on the shorter side here and one is sitting here on the corner. Okay, in the same in this next space I'll do three more single crochets. Then I'm hiding my tail again. Then I'll skip again to the next space and I'll do three more single crochet there. Okay, I'll cut my end here and then we'll be ready to start the skirt side. So let's start with the skirt part. We'll chain two and that will be our double crochet. Then we'll chain two for the space between the double crochets and then we'll put one more double cro crochet in that space and this will be a v-stitch. So into the next space between the fans we'll have another v-stitch which is one double crochet, chain two and then one more double crochet into the same space. And again into the next space over here we'll do a double crochet and then chain two and into the same space we do one more double crochet and this is our v-stitch and we'll do that till the end of the row and I'll meet you there alright so here I made it till the end and let me switch to my last for my last stitch I'll switch to my hook thinner hook here so I can get my end think so I can go inside the stitches much easier all right so here I am at the last V stitch I have to do and I'll do it over here my first double crochet chain two actually I'm not gonna do a, a double crochet in that uh, space I will chain two more so these are a total of four chains and then I will go into that first single crochet we made when we started this row so I can I I really need that side to be very secure since I'll have ties there and those ties will be pulling my my side so here I'll do a slip stitch to the beginning of this row and now I can turn and since this is considered our one double crochet here those two chains we did I'll go into that chain and I'll do single crochets one and one more so I'll do two single crochets here so I can still have my V okay so I will do chain two chain two more so four chains so for our next V stitch here on the side and inside the same space I'll do one double crochet and here is my first v-stitch so I will go another row of v-stitches so into the next v-stitch I'll do another v-stitch oh I need to switch to my bigger hook all right so I will go till the end of the row with another v-stitch so double crochet chain two double crochet and then I go into the next v-stitch double crochet chain two and another double crochet to that same stitch so there it is we'll have two rows of v stitches and i'll catch you at the end so here i reached my last v stitch here on the corner and then i do my last 
double crochet, chain two, and one more double crochet into that space. And now I can turn. And I do one slip stitch into that V chain. So I can come to the middle of the V, to that chain here in the middle, and then I chain two for my first double crochet, chain two for the space, and now one double crochet. And here is the new V stitch. And then I'll just go back and forth, back and forth to a desired length with that V stitch uh, type of mesh design. And then I'll meet you at the end when it's time to put a border to this skirt. Alright, so now that you're done with the length that you want to do, we'll do the last row, which is going to be our border. And in my last V, I'll go in there and I'll put a slip stitch so I can come to the middle of the V. And into the next V, I will crochet six double crochets. So we'll start from here and then I'll do six of them. This is the same border I put on the crop top. And there, five, one more, six. And into the next V stitch, I will do a single crochet there. And into the next V stitch, I will do again six double crochets. And this will be my border till the end. All right, so six v double crochets here into that V stitch. And then a single crochet into the next V stitch. And that will be the last row for this skirt, belt type, cover up, and the way you want to call it. And now we'll have to do the, the ties that's gonna connect both sides here. And this you can regulate also the size also the place where you want to put your um, skirt to sit on your hips. All right. So for the side string, we're just gonna crochet just a chain with the, the length you do you want. And this will be with just a slip knot here. We'll start it very, it's gonna be a plain chain and you just go and if you made it till here please like this video and subscribe to the channel this helps me keep all my content free for everyone to use okay so here i'm at the last shell one last single crochet here, a little chain to secure it, and we can cut it off. All right, so I'll weave this in, but I wanted to put my string through the skirt here. All right, so I will go through those gaps I have between the, the, the belt here we did. And this will be like that. Oh, actually, I'll do it from the top and I'll crisscross them under here so they're under. And I'll grab the one from the right, I'll pull it through the left, and then I'll grab the left one. And now insert it through the right 
then I will get the right one and I'll insert it through the left and then the left one through the right and because we reinforced those sides it's gonna stay sturdier and then here we can tie our sides all right let me quickly weave this in and I'll go try it on my mannequin all right one more time and all done I don't have in much many ends here left because I try to weave in everything as I go and it's all good so let's check it on the mannequin now So I wanted to style the the skirt, the belt type, on a skirt, on a fabric skirt. So in case you make it shorter that side or you just use the blue, you can make a great belt with it. And if you make it straight, or maybe you want to put it a little bit to the middle. That will also look cute. Alright, so look at all the different options you could wear it. I think my mannequin looks really cute now and well-dressed. Hope you like it and get a chance to crochet this set. So give me thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you in the next one.